Hey y'all, in this video we're taking a quick look at the Camp Snap camera. This is a point and shoot style digicam that's kind of riding off of the Y2K craze. It's trying to simulate some of the one-time use cameras of the past as well as some of the analog film cameras in terms of the vintage filter that's automatically applied on the results and there's no preview window or display on the back. So it's kind of an ultimate snap and glow simplicity and you only find out what the final results will be like when you transfer those files over by a USB type C cable onto your computer. Again, similar to retro film cameras of yesteryear. It's a eight megapixel sensor but the claim here is it's more about capturing those vibes or feelings and can be also thought of as something to give to perhaps a child as their first digital camera just to play with. Just a fixed aperture lens here and it does have kind of a retro leather-like texture on the front that's made of rubber making it a little easier to grip otherwise it is very lightweight and on the very top the shutter key also serves double duty as power so you can long hold for a couple of seconds to turn it on. It will be green here and then the LED on the back will also show how many photos are currently on the storage. By default, a four gigabyte micro SD card is included, but you can also remove it with a screwdriver to pop in your own SD card if you prefer, as well as under this flap is gonna be the aforementioned USB type C port for charging as well as data transfer. Now on a full charge, the camera can get around 500 shots, which is not bad. The only other control that we have on the rear is gonna be a manual flash dial to turn it on, off, or go into an auto mode that can help illuminate objects a little bit better in the dark. One function that is missing here though would be a standard tripod mount. Timer mode or a video recording mode are also missing on here. So extremely simple, just designed for kind of street on the go photography, kind of aim and snap, and then you'll find out later on what those results will be like. One slight con, however, is the optical viewfinder is actually slightly off axis from the camera lens, as you can tell there, it's slanted a bit here towards the right. So if you're trying to get a perfectly centered shot, just keep that in mind. I would have preferred if they kind of shifted this maybe just a half centimeter here to the left instead to make it perfectly level, but it is what it is. Now the camera comes in multiple colors as well, so you can customize it based on your preferences and even has three different filters that you can pick between. There is a monochrome black and white filter in addition to a regular default and also a film filter. Although to pick between those three different filters, you have to download the software basically from their website and then drag it over to the SD card. That being said, this thing is considerably less expensive compared to the other kind of retro digicam style camera that is building off of nostalgia, such as the paper shoot camera, actually retails for $140. Again, a very similar premise, no screen on here either, although this one is a little bit slimmer. That being said, I think the ergonomics of the camp snap camera is ironically enough maybe a little bit more comfortable to hold in addition this one actually doesn't come with any components like an sd card or even rechargeable batteries you have to purchase those separately yourself so i think this might be a better value here's also a quick comparison of the three filters that you can cycle between again black and white versus standard versus uh, a film effect there in the middle slightly more muted and faded looking colors again a bit more grungy looking dynamic range is kind of purposefully not as good as on modern day smartphones but it gives you that year 2k or 2000s feel and vibe to a lot of these images so it will look something like this zooming all the way in you can see some of that film grain texture creeping into some of the darker shots again when it comes to the technical quality of the photo, it's not gonna be as sharp, not as impressive from a clarity perspective, but you are capturing a lot more of these almost imperfections in order to give it a slightly more aesthetic vibe uh, to the shots, as you can tell there. So don't expect it again to be as crystal clear as a modern day smartphone camera, but maybe that's part of the whole selling point kind of transports you back into a simpler time. You don't have to change any of the settings or dials and you are able to take a closer look at your shots afterwards and see how it turned out. Maybe the only slight con is it doesn't seem to be really an autofocus sensor, which means macro shots that are up close are gonna look a little bit more blurry. So really this is best suited, I think, for landscape shots. Things that are at least about a feet or so away uh, will look a little bit better. So that is the Camp Snap. It's a camera that I really shouldn't like looking at just the specs alone, but somehow is really fun to play with as long as your expectations tempered and it's not going to necessarily actually beat a higher end point and shoot style digital camera. But if you're looking for just a fun little camera to capture some of those nostalgic vibes, it's a fun idea at the very least. So would you consider something like the Camp Snap camera? Yes or no?